As we are continuing our lesson, I would really like to welcome you all to feel free in order to be immersed yourselves into the story along with our theme setting, our musical backgrounds and feel it to your flesh and bones. So, are we ready to do so? Yes, that's great! And at that point, I would really love to tell you that I'm having a little surprise for you all. Yes, I know that you really are really happy about that. Well, as uh, being little secret agents, I thought that uh, we will be surely needing a little secret but magic tool in order to transform, completely transform, our secret agent experience in literature. So, are you ready for this surprise? Hmm. Are you all ready? Are you sure? <laughs> okay. Well, here is my little surprise for you. And it's called the storyboard.com. Hmm. Well, it may seem a bit useful in the beginning a simple application okay but i can promise you that is a completely that it can that it can offer you a completely different experience especially in literature um yesterday evening you all received your new usernames and passwords uh which you will have to use in order to log on yourselves on the storyboard.com. So, at the moment, I am giving you one minute to log on yourselves on that wonderful application of ours that will accompany our lessons from now on. So, the minute is just beginning now. Has everybody successfully logged on on the storyboard.com? That's wonderful. Well, uh, can you please tell me if you can see our story, our today's story? Yes, of course you can. You can see the story completely different as the one you'd expected, right? So, Alex, can you please tell us what did we usually do? What have we usually... Uh, what did we usually do uh, in the past uh, when we referred uh, to a story uh, taken from literature? Yes, please. Yes, of course, we refer to that story, to the script of the story, just to the book. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's true, but from now on, I have to tell you that we can do many things with that application. Of course, we were always referring to the script of the the story to the book, but we will always be referring to the original story, to the original book. But with that application, we will have the opportunity, with that tool, with that magic tool, we will have the opportunity to be taking the plot of the story, the script of the story, and apply it with images that are offered on the storyboard or we could upload from the 
from the internet, from Google, for example, uh, and apply them into the cells and create our own dialogues and even records our own voices. So that's a totally different experience in literature. We will be uh, uh, becoming little producers of those stories, of those literature stories. So aren't you excited about that? Yes, I know you are. Um, as you can see, there is a menu on Um, on the left side, okay, which we will be exploring a bit later. At the moment, I will have to tell you that we need to divide our class into two groups. The one will be re representing uh, the little prince and the other one will be representing the fox. All of us, we will be participating in our dramatization reading activity in order to be exploring our story for today and finding out about that little precious secrets, right? Um, I will be naming the names uh, that uh, of the group that will be representing the little prints in order so you can read your roles in turns you can read your parts in turns okay so the little prints will be represented by Nina Alex Catherine Julia Zunia Chris Peter Adam Irene and Vivian and the group that will be representing the fox will be Maria, Jane, George, Dimitra, Panos, Thomas, Will, Graham, Anna and Fanny. Okay? I will be the narrator when needed. I'll be starting the story though. So, is everyone ready? That's great! Let's go!